The best part about playing Susie Green for the past 24 years is that I get to scream and yell and tell everybody to go fuck themselves and they pay me and nobody gets hurt. You know, everybody would love to walk into a room and scream and kick people out and say fuck you this one and fuck you that one and dress in crazy outfits and then you just leave and you make money. I mean, it's a dream come true. And nobody dislikes you for it. Nobody's mad at you. As a matter of fact, it's the other way around. They actually enjoy it. it it's, it's just like, it's just been the greatest job one could ever have. Um, originally, I created the look. I just had this idea of how I wanted this woman to dress. And I wanted her to be so secure in, in the fact that she believes she has the greatest taste in the entire world. She thinks Cheryl just dresses like shit, you know, and that she has such pizzazz and just knows how to put an outfit together and is completely, con you could only wear those clothes if you're completely confident in yourself that they look great. So I wanted to do that for Susie, because me, Susie Esman, I never know what to put on, but she always, you know. So I created this this look for her and different wardrobe designers throughout the years, uh, Christina Mangini and now Leslie Schilling for the past five seasons, four seasons, they've just taken it to another place, you know. I, I never even imagined that she would get to the place where she is this season, which is so outrageous, even more so. Uh, Larry just like, he gave up on the outfits. He just now just completely accepts them. There was a time when he would just be, all right, you've gone too far, but now he just accepts them. So yeah, I just put on those things and I'm her. You know, I think for the, the scene from last season, I, I don't have a particular one that I'm really proud of. I'm, I'm proud of all of them. I've had so much fun with all of them. Um, but I, 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 I think that the, the scene at the dinner party at my house, the middling episode last season, is a perfect example of how the improv works. It said in the outline, Susie makes a toast and Larry doesn't look her in the eye. And she gets annoyed at that. Now that's all it said. So in the scene, I kind of in the moment made up, you know, he's like, what's the big deal if you're not looking at me? Blah, blah. And I kind of made up, I, I forgot what the lines were, but something like, I acknowledge you, I look at you, I'm, I, whatever, I, I had this whole run, whatever it was. And then the next take, Cheryl picked up on that and repeated the lines with me. And then the take after that, Jeff and Larry looked at each other and repeated those lines that I had made up to each other. So like, I, we all do this, it's not just me, but that's how the improv kind of goes. One of us throws something out there and the rest of us pick up on it and it becomes something that we never knew was gonna happen until they shout action and we're in the scene.